Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can enable OneDrive for Windows 10. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now my desktop on my computer. And as you can see guys, right now I'm working with Windows 11, but the process is, is the same for Windows 10. So just follow the steps that I'm going to show you, no matter uh, if you are using Windows 10 or 11, this will work for you. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open File Explorer. If you don't find it here in your taskbar or here in your desktop, go ahead and open the start menu and then go to the search bar and search for File Explorer. Once you find it, go ahead and click on open. And then once you're here, as you can see guys in the left, you're gonna find all of the sections. Here you're gonna find home, gallery, OneDrive, desktop, downloads, and so on. Go ahead and click on OneDrive and then right click on it. Once you give it a right click, here you're gonna find all of the options. Right here, you can copy it, you can expand it, open in a new tab, open a new window, pin to quick access, pin to start. Here, as you can see guys, you're gonna find the option to always keep it on this device. You can free up some space from here and here you're gonna find OneDrive settings. If you click on it right here, you can view online. Here you're gonna find settings and right here you're gonna find folder color. So go ahead and click on settings and then this will take you to this window. So once you're here, as you can see guys in the left, you're gonna find all of the sections. Here you're gonna find sync and backup, account, notifications, and lastly about. Go ahead and click on account and then right here as you can see guys you're going to find the option to link this pc so first of all make sure you click on it and then you can go here to sync and backup then once you do that right here as you can see guys you're going to find all of the backup settings here you can manage your backup if you click on manage backup right here as you can see guys you can enable backup for your documents your pictures desktop music and lastly videos once you finish you can just click on save changes and then you're good to go. So this is us guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.